if we could choose only one word to describe pendant lighting, it would have to be versatile. Not only do pendant lights come in all shapes, colors and styles to fit your particular design aesthetic, but they can be used to serve the three main lighting functions that you will find in well-lit homes, general, accent and task lighting. You can use them just about anywhere. Hello hello reviewers, welcome back to our channel. Today we have brought to you part 2 of our pendant lamp design ideas video. Watch the video until the end to never miss a thing and choose an inspiring design for your next project. If you haven't watched the part 1 video, please do so by using the links in the video description and on the screen. If you are new to the channel and if you like what you see, please consider subscribing to our channel and smash the notification bell so that you'll be the first one to be notified when we upload new videos. Your subscription means a lot to us and then inspires us to create more content. If you are already a subscribed member, please like and share this video so that it could reach a wide range of audience. A pendant light, sometimes called a drop or suspender, is a long light fixture that hangs from the ceiling, usually suspended by a cord, chain or metal rod. Pendant lights are often used in multiples, hanging a straight line over kitchen countertops and dinette sets or sometimes in bathrooms. Pendants come in a huge variety of sizes and vary in materials from metal to glass or concrete and plastic. Many modern pendants are energy saving, low voltage models and use halogen or fluorescent bulbs. There are a lot of different and different looking light fixtures that are called pendant lights. The most basic ones have a single light bulb mounted base up inside a globe or under an open shade or open reflector. But lanterns, fixtures that take bulbs mounted base down such as chandeliers and many of the different heads available for, for track lights are also part of the family. There are a lot of different ways we use pendant lights. Pendant fixtures are used for general lighting, area lighting and task lighting. We use them in our entry halls, stairwells, dining rooms, kitchens, bedrooms and family rooms, even on our porches. We use pendant lights to light up narrow hallways, to highlight our photos, paintings and sculptures and to add a sparkle to a fountain. Pendant lights in one form or another often provide the lighting we need almost anywhere in our homes. You don't necessarily need to be an electrician to add pendant lighting to your home. Many styles of pendant lights are available that have a long decorated code and are designed to simply plug into a wall outlet near the lamp's location. The lamp itself is suspended from a hook screwed onto the ceiling. This option allows pendant lighting to be installed almost anywhere and outlet is, an outlet is available without the hustle and expense of adding wiring in the ceiling. A pendant light fixture can be mounted at the central fixture in almost any room. One or more can be used to light a corridor or hallway. When a pendant light is used as a porch light, it is providing the general lighting for that porch. One appealing quality of pendant lights when they are used for general lighting is that many of these fixtures are designed to throw at least some of the light up onto the ceiling. As that light spreads across the ceiling and is reflected back down, it helps us see more of the room or hallway, of course. But it also helps us see the room or hallway itself. 
It shows us the edges and corners of the space, giving us a better sense of whether we are and where we are and the ways we might best fit into it and move through that space. The primary difference between area lighting and general lighting is that area lighting only lights up part of a room. It can add to or provide part of the general lighting, but it isn't going, doing the whole job by itself. One example is a light over a table that is off to the side of a room. Another is the corner lights that homeowners sometimes install in some rooms in Victorian times, particularly if those rooms were large or intended for entertaining. What if you wanted to provide good light over a sofa that's set out in a room? A bright light hanging at each end might be nice for reading by, and some less intense lights hanging over the sofa itself might make it feel more comfortable, particularly if it's a long piece. One of the valuable things about a pendant fixture is that it brings the light down from the ceiling and puts it closer to your counter or table or favorite chair where or whether you are going to need it. As this implies pendant lights can be very useful for task lighting. We are accustomed to using pendant fixtures over counters and tables. But what if you have limited space on your bedside table or just prefer to not have a table next to your bed? You can still have plenty of light for reading or any other task by installing a pendant light. In your kitchen, if you have an island or a peninsula base with no overhead cabinets as part of your counter space, one or more pendant lights can provide as much light as you need without interfering with your work area. At the same time, these lights can also add to the general lighting in the room. Fluorescent tube fixtures hang over the workbench in your garage are another example of pendant lights used as work lights. The same fluorescent fixtures hang over the planting beds in your greenhouse, attic or basement and fitted with ultraviolet bulbs or tubes are also pendant lights that are lighting work or helping you with the task. But they are also used for general lighting, usually in the center of the room or it can just bring the light down to a more effective height for the room especially if you have a high ceiling. Below are five places where you can use pendant lights and where they will really shine in your home. Number one, bedside table. Between a table lamp, alarm clock, cell phone and anything else you need by you while you sleep, your bedside table is bound to become cluttered. Hanging a small pendant light above your bedside table will give you a little bit more space, in addition to being a unique alternative to the standard table lamp. You can use a mini pendant if you are into the minimal or industrial look. A simple pendant, pendant socket accompanied by antique bulb will work just as well. Number 2. Kitchen Island Whether you are using it as a surface to slice and dice or as a gathering spot during an evening game with your friends, kitchen islands should be properly lit. As we have already mentioned, pendant lighting is versatile enough to provide task lighting for cooking and food preparation purposes or for general illumination in your kitchen. 
It will also give you the opportunity to hang more than one in a row or to use an island pendant with multiple lights specifically designed for use above kitchen islands. 3. Entryway No matter how big or small the home, many people have some kind of an entryway where they hang their keys, jackets, and so on. Not all of us have room for grand chandeliers, but pendant lighting is the worthy alternative for lighting your way once you walk through the door. 4. Dining Room Table in installing pendant lighting above your dining room table will create an eye-catching focal point in the room and a decorative layer that reflects your personal style. When looking for pendant lights to hang above your table, consider how they are shaped and direct light. Some pendants may create a spotlight effect or the light from the bulb may be too harsh on the eyes if it is exposed. Choosing a pendant that has some kind of diffuser, like a drum pendant, might have to soften the light or mostly direct light upwards is ideal in these instances. Number 5. Bathroom Vanity Bathroom vanity lighting can become a bit predictable, so placing a stylish mini pendant light O2 Above your bathroom sinks is the perfect way to mix things up. If you do place pendant lights in a bathroom with a shower that creates moisture, make sure both your fixtures and light source are UL listed. If you are placing pendant lights where you normally apply makeup or perform other routines that require balanced, fluttering light on your face, you may want to consider using other light sources such as wall recessed lighting. Well, dear viewers, as you can see in the video, we have compiled a number of interesting pendant lamp design ideas. Which one is your favorite and why? Let us know in the comment section. By now you know that our channel is full of inspiring videos which you can use daily in as an inspiration. If you like our content, please consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. And also smash the notification bell so that you'll be the first one to be notified when you upload new videos. Thank you for watching until the end. We look forward to seeing you in our next video. Until then, stay safe and stay blessed.